Hello everyone. In this tutorial series, we are going to talk about how to create a WooCommerce site uh, using WooCommerce REST API. So if you have a WordPress project, if you have a WordPress site which is built with WooCommerce and if you want to create a front-end React application uh, and want to go ahead and create an entire experience that is going to be super fast for your consumers, then this is the tutorial series for you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we will go ahead and use the WooCommerce REST API and we are going to get all of the data from your WordPress. So let's say if you have your WordPress installed and if you have your uh, WooCommerce set up, then you can use that, uh, use WooCommerce REST API to get all of the data from your WordPress site and create an application in React uh, on for the front front end so your back end is going to be in wordpress as it is so you can manage all your products from the wordpress dashboard however your front end is going to be uh, in react so what your users see uh, is going to be in react so what we're going to do is we're going to use next.js to build this application now what do you think we will use next.js I mean, we could have just simply used create react application well, if you use create react application, then you will have to go ahead and do the server side rendering yourself. So you have to write all of the codes for that. But if you use next.js, then next.js comes with server side rendering out of the box. Okay. And why do you think server side rendering is important? Well, the most important thing that you want your site to be good with SEOs. Okay. So if you have a look at uh, an application that's built with react, let's say this one and that doesn't have a server side rendering you can see that you have just have the div with an id of fruit you don't have anything inside of it it's only when it gets rendered uh, then your javascript inserted inside of this root and that's how you're able to see all of the content uh, over here on the page okay so for seos for web crawlers they won't be able to find any data over over here even if they they do wait they wait only for a certain time so if your website is slightly slow then it also becomes uh, difficult for them to you know uh, get all of the data from the site so for seo next.js is brilliant uh, you can see that it's seo friendly uh, it you know supports pwa uh, electron it's good for production it gives you server side rendering apps and all of that features and many of the big websites are already using it you can see netflix is using uh, it uh, then you have uh, Twitch that's using it. So you can see all of these big brands are already using Next.js. So then it becomes really easy for us to build uh, a front-end application with Next.js. And not only that, uh, the best part is that, that the Next.js allows you to uh, build the application really fast because it installs a lot of things for you out of the box. Okay, so it goes ahead and sets up the webpack for you. Uh, it sets up the uh, Babel configuration for you, although those can be customized as well. The configuration can be customized, but you don't have to worry about setting up Babel and Webpack yourself. It, it does that for you, so it gives you the HMR, uh, hot module uh, replacement, uh, code splitting. All of these are out of the box. Okay, uh, there is a separate video that I have for uh, next year, learning next year, just in case if you don't know that but if you do already brilliant we can always start working on it okay so what we're going to build is basically the application with next year as you can see we've got all of the products listed down we will create categories a my account page cart you will have single product page where you will have a slider so we will take care of that as well okay all right so i think uh, this is this is going to be an introduction of what we're going to achieve uh, with the WooCommerce with Next.js and in the next tutorial you're going to learn about how to go ahead and set this up. Okay, so let's begin.